from Union, New Jersey. Good morning. Hey, good morning. I'm a soldier. I'm serving in the U.S. Army. I'm over there in Germany. I'm back here in the States right now for a little while. Mm -hmm. you know, I have to say, in regards to all these people that are so anti-American, you know, in protest, you know, they want to, they're protesting all over Europe against this. You know, all I have to say to them is that, you know, I'm an American, and I can suck my own cock. Savannah, Georgia, you're next. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Uh, I'm a first. As well. We have a call this morning on the international line from Pakistan. Welcome to the program. Yes, good morning. Good morning. My name is Borsak T. Baghar. I call from Pakistan. I do not think that this is a good idea because it will only cause further tension between nations of the world. And I feel, as what they say, nobody will do this to Israel. And do you believe that Howard Stern has a small piece? Let's go to Pequay, Pennsylvania. Them. They're going to go crazy in the year 2004. Thank you. Philadelphia, go ahead. Boy, the calls are really fired up this morning. Um, I just want to say I have a really big penis. I can suck my... Let's go next. It, you know, it's really very unnecessary. Next, we go to Washington, D.C. Hi. Good morning. I'm in Washington, PA. Pennsylvania, sorry. That's okay. Connie, it's, it's uh, an honor to talk with you. Again, embassy website. Toronto, Ontario, you're next up with the ambassador. Hello. Yes, good morning, Mr. Jawad. My question is, do you have a big penis? Man, I can't believe that guy got back on. Norocco, California. Yeah, it's Norco, California. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, thank you for taking my... Long Island, uh, New York is on our yes line. Hey, how you doing this morning? Fine, go ahead. Yeah, I'm all for democracy. You know, I think, like, you know, we got these celebrities running around like, you know, Cheryl Crow and Kim Basinger, Sue Sarandon, Rob Rosinski. They should all be bukkake, you know, sprayed down with my sperm. All Los Angeles, California. Um, but this is the kind of indignity that some of these women had to deal with. And by their, their persistence and their determination, really uh, broke down some barriers and opened the way for other women who came later. Moving on to Baltimore. Democrat line. Hello. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Um, my question is, do you respect Howard Stern's penis? Getting a lot of crank calls today. Not sure why they're coming in. We'll try to crack down on them as best okay. we can. Get to another name. Austin, you're on the air. Good morning. We're doing open phones. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Charlotte, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm just fine. Well, I disagree with Mr. Bush. Belham, North Carolina. Thanks for waiting. Hi, good morning, sir. My name is Vishram Kedar. I am Australian citizen, but live in America now. I immigrated here, and but I have uh, Indian origin. Um, see, uh, the Prime Minister Bajpi has g given many speeches in India, saying that Pakistan is the epicenter of terrorism, and there are 71 terrorist camps across the Kashmir border in in Pakistan. And all the money, uh, some, some part of the money that America donates to Pakistan is also given to the terrorist camps, uh, uh, to, the, to establish the terrorist camps across the uh, Indian border into the Pakistan. And uh, probably the American government doesn't know that. And one day, if these terrorists are not controlled very well in Pakistan, they are going to destroy America. This is, please remember this. What do you have Thank to say you. about the Kashmir while you're there? Sorry? You want to comment on Kashmir while we got you? Yes, these, these terrorist camps are across the Kashmir border in Pakistan. Spokane, Washington, hello. Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Ikpad Ban Natsak. I want to comment on uh, what do you think of Howard Stern's penis? Let's go right on to Vallejo, California. Because uh, its repercussions are playing out in a negative fashion right now. Moving on to Baltimore to our American Muslims line. Welcome. I hope this doesn't bother you, but I've been imagining what you look like naked. <laughs> I think we're going to move on right to uh, Philadelphia. Hello, Philly. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the practices of credit counseling centers with Travis Plunkett, we invite your phone calls of one of three lines. Our next call, Newark, New Jersey. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. I got myself into really bad debt. I was... Uh, paying one credit card off with another for over four years. 
uh, just went on and on. And, you know, I mean, I'm, like, really broke right now about to file bankruptcy. I, you know, I'm trying to get a penile implant. I need to enlarge my uh, package to pick up the chicks these days. You know, Oxford, North Carolina is up next. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Mr. Plunkett. How are you? Good morning. Riverside, Illinois. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, Mr. Murphy, I was just wondering if you feel that there's a resemblance. Caller, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, do you feel that there's a resemblance between your pubes and the hair on your head? Thank you very much. Uh, for Where are you calling from? The Ch Chattanooga, Tennessee. And are you Republican? Uh, well, yes, sir. I'm, not, I'm undecided on this issue uh, Right. initially. Uh, I think the war against the robots may not be such a good idea. Uh, some of them are friendly, in fact, and some perform a helpful function in society. However, I do fear the robots. I don't think they can be trusted. The robots? Yes, sir. And who are the robots? Well, they're the mechanical uh, the mechanical uh, creatures that are put here on this earth to uh, perform functions for us human beings. And who put them on the earth? Well, I, I thought it was the space aliens. Okay. And if it's not? Well, then it could be uh, a deity or some other... Uh, some other form of life that we're uh, unable to comprehend. Can you give us one example of a robot? Well, there's the one, there's the one on Battlestar Galactica with the light that goes back and forth. Okay. How they play. We go next to Camden, New Jersey, on the Republican line. What do you think about all this? Good morning, Brian. And, uh, thank you for C-SPAN. Welcome. When did you lose your virginity? <laughs> what do you mean? How old were you? I'm not about to answer that question. When you lost your virginity. When did you get fucked? <laughs> hey, thanks. Nice to hear from you. Always good to hear our callers when they're like that. 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Miami Beach. Hey, You're on the air. How are you? Good. What's your favorite website? Uh, it's yours. Not you personal. C-SPAN.org. C-SPAN.org. Why? Uh, because I had a guess. <laughs> to be honest. I used Yahoo. I used that, but that guy took it. I took it over. Uh, what I was wondering is, um, yesterday on Brian's show, uh, some lady called in and was referring to uh, the tape sent in by uh, Bin Laden that he looked green and um, dialysis, I guess is the two words she used. She'd only called in like three or four days prior. Are you guys checking to see who's calling in and maybe that she's a conspirator giving away exactly the same thing over and over again? We do our darndest to catch okay. those folks. We okay. really do. I mean, right. I'm not literally like a conspirator hanging out with Bin Laden. You know, I mean, uh, you think that that's going on at all? Are they pass the news through you guys that you don't know because you're just a public organization that nobody seems to care about? Okay. You think that's going on? Thanks for the call. Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Republican. Hi, uh, my favorite is usnews.com, but also the one I forgot to mention is uh, womenwithhorses.com. That's also a good one. Um, Thanks for the call. We appreciate it. Brooklyn, New York, Democrat. Yes. Favorite news website? Uh, Barat Rakash. What is that? It's an Indian website. And again, could you spell it for us? All right, let me spell it for you <laughs> again. Uh, it's like difficult. I don't think many people know about it. Uh, let me see. And this is a news website? Yeah, it's a news